This is horrible. What happened here? Look. Lloyd, look. Look out. Ooh. What's wrong? Are you okay? We have to get out of here. Let's leave the kid behind. What the hell happened here? I don't really know. Suddenly lightning fell from the sky and angels attacked the village. Angels? They had wings. Those with wings are angels, right? Uh-huh. Or birds. It must have been the Crucius. Crucius. So angels destroyed the village. Prisea, are you okay? I'm fine. But this unsettling irritation. Is this anger? Well, it's certainly not hemorrhoids. I'm impressed you survived. Are you the only survivor? What's your name? My name is Mythos. I lived by myself on the outskirts of the village, so... You have the same name as Mythos the hero. Yeah. Wait, are you a half-elf? Um, I... I... No. He's lying. Relax. You can tell, can't you? We have the same blood flowing through our veins as you do. You're half-elves too? But you're with humans. It's okay. We're all friends. We just think we're better than they are. It's fine. Humans and half-elves as friends? You're lying. No, it's true. My sister and I are part of this group. Relax. Y yeah, but... Your reaction is understandable. I've heard that the village of Ozette is particularly known for its contempt for half-elves. If you've lived an isolated life in this village, you must have suffered. What happened here? You're Altessa, right? What are you doing here? I saw the lightning of judgment fall towards this village. But what in the world? Mm. It was the work of Crucius Angels. Prisea, you've regained your true self. Ah, fun. How could they do this? Is this their punishment for failing the experiment? What do you mean, punishment? Nothing. It's nothing. Wait! The Master believes that it is his fault that Ozette was destroyed. Altessa is connected to Ozette? Yes. Excuse me. I am worried about the Master. I'm going to follow him. Yeah. Mythos, you should come with us. Yay! Another party member. But I'm a half-elf and- Shut up. That doesn't matter. Besides, what are you going to do if you stay here and the angels come back? Lloyd's right. Let's all go together. Yay! Hey everybody, it's Angel from the Bombardiers again with another episode of Tales of Symphonia. For those of you just joining us, Ozette just got wrecked. So now we're going to uh, investigate. I was a craftsman who worked with Crucius. So you're on the side of the angels, of Eugdrasil. You know Lord Eugdrasil? Know him? Because of him, Silverot and Tethial are twisted into worlds that fight for each other's mana. That's a Crucius Crystal. I see. You must be the chosen of the declining world. This may be fate. What happened to Ozette was my fault. What do you mean? I came to hate the work I did. It was for indirectly taking people's lives. I ran from Crucius and hid myself in Ozette. But then I was found found by Ozette. But then I was found by a design in Rodile. He ordered me to create a Crucius crystal in exchange for my life. So that means that the research Perseia was organized by the. So that means that the research on Perseia was organized by Rodile and the Pope. So who then? Who then had you and Kate carry it out? 
Right, Rodile. While our design in service of Crucius, I was also planning to revolt against Crucius. Before I supported him, and that your Lord Eugrasiel grew angry, and he... He destroyed the town of Ozette, which had protected me! So this is how Persea, this girl who reflects my distant memories, this is how she was caught up in this. This is hor terrible beyond words. I'm sorry, I could never apologize enough. But apologizing is all I can do now. My time will not come back. The people of the village and Daddy will not come back. Persea! I'm sorry. Don't apologize. Even if you apologize, I can't forgive you right now. Fine. Just leave. Persea, I believe your loss has been great. But please, do not lose yourself as well. I can understand Persea's feelings a little. Some things never come back. Even if he apologizes, even if you want to forgive, you can't control those feelings. Not being forgiven, that may be the punishment. I don't think that's right. Forgiving or not forgiving, innocent puzzle innocent puzzle <sighs> Excuse me. Forgiving or not forgiving isn't a punishment. I can't really explain it well, but Ah, well anyway, let's not get into philosophical discussion right now. Persea doesn't need force need to force herself to forgive him or anything. Let's just think about what we can do now. Yes, you're right. As for me, I think we should take this opportunity to ask Altesso all he knows about Crucius. We currently don't have enough information, wouldn't you agree? Yeah, Persea, would you rather wait here? No, I'll listen as well. Alright. This is gonna be a talky adventure. Do you have business with me? Can you tell us about Crucius? It'll be a long story. That's okay. Crucius is an organization made up entirely of half-elves. There are a large number of dwarves beside me involved in well. So there are other dwarves besides you and my dad? Their objectives are to begin the age of half-elves and the revival of Martell. For this purpose, they make use of the Church of Martell and try to fuse the Chosen with Martell's consciousness. What if that's true? Why do the designs try to kill the Chosen? x and Crucius Crystals awaken when stimulated by people's fear and suffering. Also by their contact instincts. That is why the designs disrupt the declining world. In order to facilitate the Angel Transformation, they deliberately put the Chosen in danger. However, there, they would not take her life. It must be a design that betrayed Crucius like Rodile, or a member of the Renegades. Rodile, what is he scheming? The revival of the Mana Cannon. He obtained the plans of the Mana Cannon somehow, and is constructing it in Silveron. He's also the master of his ranch. It's likely he's using the captives of the construction of the cannon. Once it's complete, he probably intends to build his own empire. How can he make everything, everyone suffer for such a thing? Say then, is it true that Eugrasio made the two worlds? Well, that's how I heard it. That he anchored the two worlds, which are never to come in contact, via the four mana links, and placed the great seed in the center between them to guard it. The great seed? Where have I heard that before? It comes up in the stories of the hero Mythos. That's what people call the soul of Mythos, who died in the holy ground of Carlan after the close, close of the ancient war. Wait a minute. That's true, but... Why does the same legend of Mythos from Silverot also exist here? I've been wondering about this for a while now. There are two holy grounds of Carlan, two towers of salvation. And now the legend of Mythos is the same too? It seems it's possible to travel between the two worlds at their poles. I don't know where these poles would be, but perhaps... 
That person we know as Mythos used to travel that between two of the worlds. Bipolar, yes! That's it! Professor, what is it? This is my theory. Perhaps the ancient war was, in fact, a war between Tethiel and Silveron. And the hero Mythos arranged the truths that ended the war. And that would be why the legend of Mythos exists in both worlds. Yes, and if we assume that one of the two poles is in the holy ground of Karlon, then we can understand the meaning of the existence of the two holy grounds. That's the door between the two worlds! Yes, that makes sense. I've heard many theories regarding the bipolar structure of the worlds. But your works come from a logical standpoint. What other ideas have there been? There's a legend passed down in Altamir about something called the Otherworldly Gate. Some say that it is some say that it is a pole. The Otherworldly Gate. So what is the Great Seed? I don't know that either. But Lord Eugrasius said that it was more important than his life. I can't wrap I can't wrap my head around this all this stuff all at once. You must be tired by now. Why don't you rest here for the night? Mythos, right? You don't have anywhere else to go. You should stay here at my place for a while. Are you sure that's okay? I'm a half-elf. The only ones living here are Tabitha, who I made, and me, a dwarf. You made Tabitha? Yes. Tabitha is an automated doll, so having a half-elf here isn't a problem at all. Tabitha's a doll? Okay. We'll stay here too for the night then. Is that okay with you, Prasea? Please don't worry about me. Then I shall prepare dinner. Then tonight, Genus and Rain will be here too, right? Yeah, let's play together. You're the first half-elf friend I've had. You'll be my friend? Of course! Thank you. Oh, that was, that was exhausting. Just talking through all that talking talking. Gotta take a drink a drink. Oh! Oh! Lloyd, wake up! That's not the voice I should have done. The professor's gone! What? What are you talking about? It seems that Rain left a note saying that she had something she wanted to investigate and then left. Shortly before dawn, I heard I saw a Riard heading south. Perhaps that was Rain. South is in the direction of Altamira. Now that you mention it, Her Highness was acting just a bit strange yesterday. She was going on and on about the Otherworldly Gate. What should we do, Lloyd? I'm worried about her being by herself. Let's go find her. It's not good for us to be separated right now. Uh, um, w will you take me with you? What are you talking about? It's dangerous! I know, but I I'm worried about her. There are monsters all over Tatheala right now. So this is the first time I've met another half-elf besides me, so I want her to be okay. No, no, it's too dangerous. Lloyd, please! I promise I won't get in the way, so... Fine, fine, alright. Do what you like. Thank you, Lloyd! Don't worry about it. Any friend of Genus is a friend of mine. Okay, let's do our best, Genus. Mito, thank you! Genus, let him ride on your yard. Okay. We only have three at the po at this moment, but you know, whatever. Wait, this is for Persea. A key crest. It's hardly enough to call it an apology, but I went ahead and made one. We'd be more reliable than that makeshift one she has now. Get shit on, Lloyd. Persea, let's accept it. Uh, okay. All right. Here we are in Altamira. Say why, huh? Well, if you don't want to talk about it, that's your business. Lloyd, let him do what he wants. All right, we'll catch you on the way out. All right, it's supposed to be in Altamira. That's apparently where Rain's going. But Regal won't join us for whatever reason. 
That's cool. Alicia, is it really you? You know Alicia? What? Wait, then who? Alicia is my sister. Ooh. Oh, I see. Ah, of course. Alicia passed away quite some time ago. She couldn't possibly be standing here now. Yeah. Good judgment there, George. Passed away? What happened? Alicia came to work in the service of the noble Bryant family, but she was caught up in an unfortunate incident that resulted in her death. She died? How? I dare not speak of the details. Please forgive me. Alicia's grave lies in the Sky Terrace of the Lazareno Company headquarters. Please stop by there if you have the time. Alicia would surely be pleased to receive a visit from her younger sister. Except she's dead, but, you know, whatever. If you show this to the receptionists, they should let you through. Younger sister? I thought Prisea was the older one. That's strange. Prisea said she had a younger sister. Maybe there are three sisters in all. You know, she's right there. You can ask her about it. Oh, come on. Alicia, what happened to you? What's this? Hey, there's an X-Fear embedded here. Hmm. Why is that Wonder how she died. Persea, sis, it's you, isn't it? Alicia? Look! I'm so happy I can see you again before I disappear. What's going on? Are you still alive? I... I exist only in the X-Fear. Soon even my consciousness will be gone. The x here killed my body and absorbed my consciousness. I can't Ugh. believe you've become a victim of the x sphere as well. Persea, please grant me my request. Before I disappear, please find my master. Please find Master Bryant. Bryant? The noble you went to serve? Yes, by killing me, he... Alicia, he killed you? Please, tell me what happened. Please, Persea. I'm not going to tell you, so add unnecessary drama to the game. Please help me find Alicia's killer. Of course. We'll beat this Bryant guy to a pulp and drag him back here. Yeah, I won't let him get away with killing your sister. Thank you. What's wrong? x spheres are terrible things, aren't they? Yeah. Hey, time to go. Okay. Isn't the otherworldly gate supposed to open tonight? Man, I don't think- I don't like thinking about that. It could suck us all over into the head of the land of Silverant. Why does everybody know about Silverant? Lloyd, did you hear that? Yeah. Excuse me. That otherworldly gate you were talking about, where is it? You. I apologize. If you'd like to go see the Otherworldly Gate, would you be kind enough to tell us where it is? Ah, well, if you're looking for the Otherworldly Gate, it's to the east of the city, across the sea. Um, are there any landmarks? There are huge rocks all over it. Can't miss it, but tonight's a full moon. If the legend is true, then the gate will open and you'll be sucked into the world of Silverant. I wonder if Rain is there. I don't know, but it's the only clue we have. Let's at least take a look. Professor! Everyone, why are you all here? Because you left a note, weirdo. Why do you think we're here? We were worried about you. It's dangerous to come here alone. As a fellow half-elf. I can't just leave you here by yourself. Why did you come to this place? 
This is where Genus and I were abandoned. <gasps> Plot twist. What are you talking about? You two are from Silveron. No. I happened to catch sight of this place when we rescued Colette, and it's been on my mind ever since. Then, when I heard the story about the two poles which connect the two worlds, I became certain. The images in my memory, the ruin I've been searching for all this time, is this place. Ah. So what are you saying? The two of you were born in Tetheala? It can't be. All my memories are of Isalia. I don't know this place at all. We were born and raised in the village of the elves, from which we were eventually ostracized. We were abandoned here because this place was said to be the path to the legendary Silveront. The village of the elves? The secret village said to be off limits to anyone except elvenkind? Yes. I don't know the details of what happened, but I'm positive that I was left here along with Genus when he was just a newborn, and we eventually ended up in Silveront. Then this time, let me send you to hell instead. Oh shit, plot Where? twist. Kochinawa, what are you talking about? My chance to avenge my parents' deaths has finally arrived. Well, avenge your parents? Correct. You will die for killing my parents, along with countless others of our village when you failed to control both. You're a dick. B what? That was an accident. Why are you doing this now? Accident? I could have accepted things if she just failed to make a pact with a summon spirit. But then, she failed to assassinate the Chosen of Silverant, thereby placing Mizuhu in danger. Yet look at her now. She's made pacts with summon spirits just like that. You have it all wrong. Do I? I think she wasn't really trying during the first pact making. You know, she was a child. Because of that, she killed my parents and our people. I did the best I could. I... Enough excuses. Uh, keep working on it, okay? Well, this isn't good. Damn, there's too many of them. Kuchinawa, please, don't drag them into this. I'm the one you despise, right? Then I'm the only one you need to kill. Sheena, stop talking like that. It's okay. Kuchinawa, please. Fine. The prophecy is true! Who saw that coming? In a game ridden with cliches. How has no one seen this before? You've gotta be kidding me! Enough of this, Sheena! Lloyd, ah! come on! Everybody, into the gate! Slowly, one at a time. Damn! The Guardian signature trail disappeared. They've been. It's a weird place to end up, but okay. Where are we? Probably on the outskirts of Palma Costa. You're also calm about this. The mana level seems to have risen, but it's definitely Silveron. Oh, man, never thought I'd wind up coming over to this side like that. Zealous, why did you butt in? Excuse me? Don't tell me you actually wanted to die back there. Well... Besides, those guys would have come after us regardless of whether or not you died. Pope's orders and all. Got a point. Are you saying Kuchinawa is working for the Pope? Well, yeah. It's likely. Those assassins he had with him were the Pope's men, weren't they? I'm certain of it. Sheena, please don't do something like that again. Don't make the same mistakes I did. Nothing good will come of you sacrificing your life. 
Colette's absolutely right. You should thank Zelos, Sheena. Th thanks. Come on now. Would it hurt you to give me a kiss or two? Ew. Zelos, you're horrible. Ooh, ouch. But what are we gonna do now? Well, since we're back in Silveron, why don't we find out what the designs are up to? Yay! What about Mythos? We can't drag him into this. We already did. Maybe we could ask the Pomacosa government to take care of him for a while. Neil, huh? Hmm. I guess that's a good idea. I want to fight too. What do you say? This journey is dangerous even if you had an next sphere. He's right, Mythos. We do appreciate your sentiment, though. I suppose you're right. I understand. Well, that was <coughs> uh interesting episode. Uh, thanks for joining me, guys. Next time, we're going to go around and, you know, do that thing they just said. Uh, we'll see you guys next time. If you like this video, please be sure to like and subscribe. It really helps me out and all whatever. I'll see you guys next time.